Hello everyone, today is 9th March 2021. After a long, finally we are seeing the temperature more than 50. Right now it is 57 degree Fahrenheit, which desperately I was waiting for. Every day it was uh, most of the day under 20 degree. So you can see, see the snow. If you can relate how high the snow was here almost covering the rhododendron plant and uh, in the past three days slowly slowly it started melting still see some are still left here but these are all melted see that is that stream side When it was fully covered with snow, we are not able to even come outside and we, we are not able to walk here and so I was wait, desperately waiting to melt the snow so that at least I can come out and throw the garbage and yeah, we saw enough snow. It looks very beautiful but it restricts uh, outside. Um, everyday life before coming outside you need to check the temperature how cold how warm and then only we can and now it is a very big job to clean all these caught all these dried branches and that is my i want to show you this is my iris the purple and white and the deep blue one so this is the pink iris so see in winter what is the situation and see this went gray that uh, i forgot unimus or something this plant and uh, so see the top uh, all the branches are damaged this is uh, creeping phlox i think the pink color one i have uh, transplanted into many places but this is the first one i think five or six years ago i bought and i planted in this uh, pot uh, this pot was left uh, from our previous owner and uh, since i planted this phlox in this pot it is still there it was very big which 90% uh, i transplanted into um, those uh, inner circle I, I can show you i hope they will come out in spring they are not dead they are hardy in our zone so i can show you that but this is the original place where i put for five six years and they multiplied multiplied and still i left little bit as a sign and uh, this is the um, spirea i don't know the exact variety this is one type of spirea and it is also hardy even if I will not cut the top branches still, they are all alive. That is my experience. They will come uh, with new branches. But to have a healthy growth, I am going to cut uh, all the top 80% um, of these branch. I am going to cut it. So this is the iris. Here also last year I have uh, removed 90% uh, of the rhizome into those uh, my circular garden there i have uh, i will show you in uh, by the month of i think end of may definitely they will be blooming that is my experience that's what uh, happens with iris so i have transplanted um, few last year few this year so and they are hardy they come out very well and um, this is another uh, unimus and here is my orange uh, iris you can see one leaf this is orange iris and uh, see after the snow that's why after snow it needs a big uh, cleaning part and see these are still not melted so we cannot open the gate there are still snow in the middle of the snow if you can see that uh, rhododendron one you can see only white patches but they all will turn into a beautiful garden in 
by end of May I believe they all will come out with fresh growth so it is worth to wait for hard winter months because everything you will see new but this is the situation now those are my moms and uh, these are um, these are grown from the roots of that weeping cherry i think in a couple of weeks i can show you full bloom these uh, weeping cherry are one of the earliest blooming plants and uh, from the root of that cherry i see this growth so even if i cut still they grow and past two years i did not cut that's why these are this big so this is I have left I thought I can let them grow so that if I need to cut that plant I can cut it easily because I still have uh, the baby plant of that tree and uh, I think this is a hardy uh, chrysanthemum uh, we call sebati in Odisha chrysanthemum uh, they are hardy so they will come out if i cut the branch they will come out with new growth i believe if they are not dead because many times hard winter kills them completely so it depends i think i uh, there is still little green so i think that is uh, some branch is still alive i believe i don't know if you are able to see see that one yeah so i see one branch so that means you can see little little green there yes and yeah that is the gora see the gora that is one orange rose this is again another see in october it was the most beautiful plant in my garden and that is um, I am um, the name is not coming to my mouth that is a nice uh, herb this is another um, chrysanthemum and that is uh, the multi-layered uh, garden rose i think they say landscape rose or something because it it blooms a lot like hundreds at a time and this is the pink multi-layered big big flower uh, rose i need to cut uh, all these branches now once the snow melts and there are many many bulbs here once the snow melts i think in a couple of weeks they all will show their new leaf and that is one um, azalea this is um, this is i think it is uh, fourth it will be the fourth year of this um, oh god i'm not the name is not coming holly hawk this is one holly hawk which is dark maroon color flower that is the um, i think they say ice cream or something light pink and white mix um, rose but i need to cut all these branches and uh, i love this plant this is my cut japanese cut leaf maple when uh, we bought the house this plant was already there but uh, uh, it has grown uh, three times uh, bigger than the original size uh, it was small but still i loved it and uh, now it is almost seven years past so this is the full growth of this uh, Japanese cut leaf maple they don't grow to much bigger height but I need to trim to have a better uh, shoots and better growth and uh, you can see the tag of that uh, magenta peony that is the peony there is my lily which I I have covered kind of uh, assuming as mulch to those leaves and the leaves may blown away in the wind that's why I have put those uh, uh, woods and this is all these thread, thread like stem you see those are uh, mints and this is a very fragrant rose magenta color I believe and this is another rose this is Don Juan or something I think uh, one climbing rose this is a gift on Mother's Day four years ago uh, yeah this is uh, one of my earliest uh, transplanted um, creeping flocks that I showed in the pot and this is um, I don't know the exact variety this is one hosta which uh, has very big leaves 
and I think this is my crocus if you can see this is the crocus so in couple of days I may show you the flowers they are the first plant they are the first blooming plant <laughs> of the season each year and this is my hollyhock I have one clematis there last year it bloomed I planted last year and they are hardy but uh, as this is this will be the first day of survival I need to see whether it is it has survived or not and uh, that is uh, again another clock this is one uh, iris dodge iris I believe that is one blue bearded iris this is another creeping clock this is another I um, which I have been waiting for the past three years daily last year I saw few leaves previous year also I saw few leaves last year I was expecting some blooming some blooms but it did not bloom so maybe this year I think it may bloom sometimes they need a couple of years to be settled in the uh, soil and uh, many many new plants I have planted here this is um, one hardy yellow color geranium that green one and uh, this is one red daylily and some plants and this is one blue iris this is newly i planted in the month of december first or second week i planted one um, i I'm not able to recall the name of the plant but it is a beautiful plant and uh, I know that they are hardy so I am hoping it, it's, it has survived so in in couple of months you can see all these uh, fully green I believe this is another hollyhock which is hardy and till December it was green and uh, long long leaf that is uh, show you the status of my plants which survived and which is dead but it is still snow there so maybe another one or two days I need to wait and then I can record and I can show you the growth it is very interesting to see these uh, growth from scratch because now almost nothing is there uh, so so it is kind of starting another new garden completely which survived which not and if some plants die then it is another opportunity to plant a new plant there that's how I did originally I started with a few roses there so I will tell you about my rose garden story another day <laughs> now it is not a rose garden it is a completely new garden with multiple varieties of plants and I'm happy I learned from gardening that uh, there is no need to regret for anything always there is opportunities and it's up to you how you utilize that opportunity and take advantage of that and enjoy what you do thank you for watching